But um, today we wanted to talk to you a little bit about what professional athletes are starting to realize about diet and performance and what we can learn from it. Um, obviously, because we are in the whole food space, we do see a lot um, from the athletes. And you just read an article. Just read an article. I was, uh, uh, might have been the LA Times. I'm not sure. Talking about the LA Dodgers. It was obviously a local paper. And how, how many of the, the players are giving up dairy in this case. They were talking about dairy. And they talked, they interviewed the athlete. The athlete was talking about how it's not only are they playing better, but they're healing faster because they're not getting the inflammation that you get from, from taking in dairy products. Mm -hmm. And um, more and more athletes are just going to that direction. Yeah, we're seeing more athletes that are, are, be, are going to plant-based because they, they feel like it gives them an edge. And obviously for them, that means more money, more success, mm -hmm. more winning, which is all good. And I know we had the same experience that when we moved to being more plant-based, um, we recovered faster and we were sore less, which is kind of interesting because uh, when you work out as much as we do, you kind of attribute being a little bit sore to having done something right. and you know making making a change in your workout or whatever. And so if you're sore less, it kind of sometimes makes you feel like, well, maybe I'm not working out hard enough. Right, exactly. But, I mean, I'm working out just as hard as I was. I'm just not as sore as often. I'd, I'd almost say I'm working out harder because I have more energy, so I'm pushing myself more. Where yeah. before I'd like drag a little bit, so I'd maybe not do one exercise or something. Now I'm like, oh, I got more time. Let me do something else. Uh, let me superset this and do that and do all this crazy stuff. So if anything else, I'm working out more, not less. Yeah. The other thing too is that when we talk to people who start moving to plant based, is when they before they're plant based, they often say that they just they're too tired to work out. They they don't have time. They don't have the energy. They can't make it happen. But when they move toward being plant based they realize they do have energy and they don't want to sit on the couch and watch TV because it makes them feel like I got to do something. Mm -hmm. And so people who've never been able to work out before didn't just feel like they couldn't make it happen in their life are suddenly able to do so. And I think that that's a pretty a positive benefit. It is. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I just keep relating to all these athletes that are, that are changing over. I mean, I know the Tennessee Titans, which is an American football team, have... Um, 12, 13, 14, a bunch of, like a, there's a bunch of them that are uh, vegan, at least during the season, right. because they feel like it helps them um, better. And we tell people, you know, when they, when they say to us, oh, I'm too tired, I can't do it, well, it's because your nutrition's not on point. And what you're seeing are athletes that are playing longer careers. Yeah. You know, the one that comes to mind, everybody knows, is Tom Brady. Which was funny in the article I mentioned him, but it said five time Mr. Uh, our Super Bowl winner. So that's like six. Oh, they quoted it wrong. <laughs> oh. So I don't know if he sees he might he might have a problem with that. Hey, Carol. So may every uh, New England morning, Carol, a uh, New England Patriots fan. Yeah, they're gonna call um, Lally. But there's a guy. He's gonna be. He'll be 41. I don't know if he'll be 42 before the season's over next year. But I mean, still playing at a high level at a game that is very abusive. Very abusive, yeah. yeah. So, it, and he he's been um, vegan for a long time. Yeah, plant based. Yeah. Uh, plant based for a long time, but um, it helps you heal faster. It helps you not get injured as much because your body's in better shape. You're not having the inflammation from the food that you're eating, like Russ mentioned, mm -hmm. especially if you're not taking in dairy. You don't already have the existing inflammation, so when things do happen, your body can respond to it faster. Um, and you know, you may think, well, I'm not a professional athlete. It doesn't matter to me, but it does. It makes you feel better. It gives you more energy. It, it just makes you healthier. We've been talking about the flu lately and how everybody Everybody's we know is getting the flu. And I keep like knocking on wood. Right. And, I mean, you know, how long has it been since either one of us even had a cold? I know. And it's you scary know? to talk about it because I'm like, oh, we're going to jinx, know, jinx it. it right, but. but um, you know, it, it really does make a difference in giving your body the fuel it needs, but also not making it work harder at processing food so that it can, um, you know, if something does come up, if a, dug, a bug or whatever does show up, it can be like, oh, I have to solve that. I found it interesting that in this one article that we're talking about, they, they, they had a, uh, an expert that was, a, I think, a dietitian, but I'm not sure, uh, was talking about how well... They haven't really done a study on the athletes, so they can't really say it's the dairy. I'm making the assumption that it's because they're not eating dairy, so they're eating more plants. So what I found interesting about that is that they didn't do the study to see if they're eating more plants either, but that's the way. So I'm, I'll it's let an you, interesting assumption. Yeah, I'll let you guess where they're sponsored or where they're coming from. Yeah. You know, who's yeah. paying for them to be uh, part of the organization. Well, and I just posted something today where, you know, how did humans get so disconnected from 
our, our food source that we suddenly need studies to tell us that plants are good yeah. for us to eat, you know, that fruits and vegetables are good for us to eat. It's, it's an interesting space that we're in where, you know, people never question whether animal products are good for us. Hey, Allison, morning, good morning. morning. Allison. We, they never question whether animal products are good for us or bad for us, but they always want to question, well, should I be eating plants? And it's a weird juxtaposition to me to, to try and understand, you know, and even when we tell people, well, be 80%, you know, if you feel like you need a little bit of protein, which I don't necessarily agree with, but if you feel like that, fine, be 80%. And they're like, oh, well, I don't know. Why? Like, what, what is that logic? Yeah. So it's, it's an interesting... <sighs> we had a uh, talk we gave last night at a local uh, club, and what was interesting to me is, is that when we were done, the, the uh, person that was running the event, I guess, said, so see if you can take one thing away from this talk. And I stood up and said, well, if you're going to take one thing away, stop eating dairy. And you saw the, the faces. The looks on people's faces. were just like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, like that's the and, one thing I don't want to give up right. is dairy. It was, they and, were, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even if you tell them that, you know, I mean, cow's milk is meant to turn a small little calf into a 400-pound animal. Not a human to a 400 pound animal, but I'll tell you what it's it doing. Will. It will turn you it's turning people into 400 pound animals. It's it just... is, yeah. And I think that's why athletes are realizing that it's just not a good fuel source. Mm -hmm. It's because it's not really fuel for functioning, it's fuel for growing. And right. if you're not trying to add 400 pounds to a 100 pound frame, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to say about that. Just that the athletes are starting to recognize it, it's starting to become more mainstream. And it's interesting to see people push back on it and, and the and just the cognitive distance they have about it. Right, and we know this is, is you know, things like cheese are an addictive substance. And it's yeah. processed and made that way on purpose. Because, you know, I mean, the tobacco industry did it for a lot of years. And they're still doing it, yeah. they just pay the fine. But, yeah, pay the fine. It's yeah, all right. But, Kill people. It's exactly, no you know. Um, so that's, yeah. that's it. That's what yeah. I have on it.